What's up sports fans? This is the Lucas Ross Sports Channel. It's time to continue our 2023 schedule preview and projected records for the 2023 college football season. And we continue them with the Arizona Wildcats. Here's the schedule last year for this Arizona team. The overall record for this team going 5-7 in 2022. Such a So a pretty good season for Arizona last year. Of course, you know, coming up short of a bowl game last year. But this team, you know, overall kind of really surprised me with their overall wins last year. They went 5-7. and seven, But I think I predicted this team to go 5-7 and seven overall in 2022. But, yeah, overall a pretty good season. You look at who they played in the non-conference last year. They played San Diego State on the road. Mississippi State out of the SEC. And they also played uh, North Dakota State. So... Um, the non-conference schedule was a little bit tough, you know, with Mississippi State in there out of the SEC. But other than that, the non-conference schedule really wasn't all too bad for them. Uh, they played, um, you know, almost every single team in the Pac-12. Um, if they, you know, probably would have won one of those games that they lost to last year, maybe Cal. If they would have won that game, this team probably could have been like 6-6 six and six last year. But... Other than that, a pretty good season for Arizona last year. I don't really know how good they're going to be this year. Uh, we don't know if their schedule will be the, kind of the same way as it was last year. Uh, let's now look ahead to 2023 for this Arizona team. Here's a schedule for them heading into 2023. And you look at who they'll play in the non-converts this season. They'll play uh, Northern Arizona here on September 2nd. Then they'll play, once again, Mississippi State here on the road on September 9th out of the SEC. Yes, they'll have to play on the road in that game. That's going to be a really tough place to play with the Cowbells there. And then, they'll, of course, they'll play UTEP here as well on September 16th. So the schedule is kind of similar to last year. They did play a group of five team last year in San Diego State. And they did play like an FCS school last year. But they'll play Northern Arizona here on September 2nd. So there's a pretty good chance that Arizona could start out 3-0 and or maybe 2-1 and on the year. Uh, we know they're going to be almost playing every single Pac-12 team on this schedule. And you look at the schedule, they don't have Oregon on the schedule. That's the really only good news about this schedule. But they almost have to play every single team that were really good last year. Like one of those top five teams in the Pac-12 last year, like USC, Washington, uh, Oregon State, and UCLA, and Utah. So... They all got them on the schedule. Um, the good news is they get Oregon State, UCLA, Utah, and Washington all at home. So those are very winnable games for them. But let's go game by game now for this Arizona team. So they'll start the season off with their three non-conference games here. They'll play Northern Arizona here on September 2nd to begin things out. And then they, of course, play Mississippi State. That one will be on the road on September 9th. Really tough game there. And then they'll play UTEP here on September 16th. So you get your three non-conference games to open up the season. Then they'll open up Pac-12 play with Stanford here on September 23rd. That's a very winnable game on the road. Uh, Stanford in a kind of a rebuild mode right now. Washington here on September the 30th after that. Uh, then they'll play back-to-back -back road games here with USC and Washington State. Uh, those are not really easy back-to-back -back road games. Obviously, two very tough places to play. Uh, USC, they're really loaded on both sides of the ball, as always. And always, I mean, uh, they really are just loaded there. Caleb Williams coming back. And then Washington State here on the road. That's going to be a tough place to play. But I think a very winnable game for Arizona, uh, perhaps. They'll get a bye week after that game, after those two back-to-back -back road games. Then they'll play Oregon State here on October the 28th. Then they'll play UCLA here on November 4th. That's kind of like a winnable game. I think those are very two winnable games for Arizona. And then Colorado here on November the 11th, a team that you don't want to play in the month of November. But this will be a very winnable game here for Arizona. Then they'll play Utah here on November 18th. And then, of course, end things out with their rival, Arizona State. Looking forward to that matchup every single year. It was a really close game last year, and Arizona ended up beating this team. So maybe Arizona State's looking for revenge in this game. But the schedule overall, like I said, no Oregon on the schedule, but it's still a pretty tough schedule uh, for Arizona, especially with Mississippi State out of the non-conference there. So let's now get to the projected record for this team. And this is the scale I use for my projections. If it's a 1% game, like I said, that's a game that, you know, Arizona has no chance of winning in 20 percent there'll be about a couple touchdowns of underdogs in the orange 40 percent in the yellow these are games where they're going to be heavy underdogs in about a touchdown uh, 50 50 games these will stay in the white games where they can go either way 60 percent 
Uh, they'll be favored by at least a, about a touchdown, 80%. They'll be favored by a couple touchdowns. You probably won't see any of those purple or blue games, though, on this schedule for Arizona. And then the 90% games, these are, these are the easy wins here for Arizona. So we always start with the easy wins here on these projections. So we're going to start with the easy wins here for Arizona at about 90% in the green. And I think you got two of those for Arizona, Northern Arizona and UTEP. UTEP, though, I think will be a little bit tougher. Uh, they are a pretty good team last year as a group of five team from last year. And I think this is a team that maybe could really um, surprise Arizona a little bit, about the 90% category. I think definitely Northern Arizona is over 95%. But other than that, I think Arizona will still be favored by more than three touchdowns in both of these non-conference games. Uh, they have no business to lose them, but you know UTEP, you never know about them. But there's a good chance they could probably lose one of these two games. It would be a really big shock, though, if they did lose both of those games at home. And like I said, I don't have any blue or purple games on this schedule. So let's now go to the games where they're going to be underdogs in. I don't have any red games either on this schedule for Arizona. So let's start with the orange games here at 20%, where they're going to be a couple touchdowns of underdogs. And I got four of those. Washington, USC, Oregon State, and Utah. All four of these teams that you're seeing in the orange were really good teams last year. Definitely could have made the Pac-12 championship. Of course, USC and Utah, though, both made it into that Pac-12 championship last year. And then you got Washington and Oregon State that are going to be really good. They have a lot of talent coming back on both sides of the ball for both of those teams. And, you know, those are going to be really tough games there. But at least they get Washington, Oregon State, and Utah at home. So it could switch to yellow games by the time we do those predictions in the month of May. But still, those are very tough games at home. And then USC, obviously, a tough one there on the road. Um, but all four of these games, I think Arizona could be a couple touchdowns of underdogs in all four of these games as of right now. Uh, let's go to the games now where they're going to be heavy underdogs in, in, in the yellow, about 40%. And I think that's almost the majority of their schedule, but three of them on here, Mississippi State, Washington State, and UCLA. Uh, Mississippi State and Washington State are both road games here. I mean, based off of where these two teams were from last year, that they're playing on the road, i got to put both of these games in the yellow. I think Arizona, though, will be a slight underdog against Mississippi State. Uh, they got a new era coming in as well. And then Washington State, that's a tough place to play. But I think they'll be a slight underdog in that game as well. And this was a well-improved Arizona team from last year. But just how well-improved will they be? But I think all these games that you're seeing in the yellow are very winnable games here for Arizona, especially that UCLA game. I think that's probably their best chance to win that one. Uh, that one will be on November 4th. So, But the rest of the games here in the white, Stanford, Colorado, and Arizona State, all road games here I think are 50. 50 games. Uh, Stanford obviously in a rebuild mode. Colorado is a team that you don't want to play in the month of November. But this could be a really still this still really could be a really interesting game here between these two teams. And then obviously Arizona State, that's a rival game. You never know what can happen. Um, Arizona State's looking for revenge though on the Wildcats here. So I'm looking forward to that rival game um, every single year when they play it. So I think all these games though, I think are very f much 50-50 games. So let's now get to the projection here. Um, like I said, this is not my official prediction. This is simply a projection based on this schedule. And the schedule overall is really tough, especially, you know, with that non-conference schedule with Mississippi State in there and all these other Pac-12 teams. Yes, they don't play Oregon on the schedule, but they have to play five of those teams that had a chance to win the Pac-12 last year. So if you look, look at the schedule, the games that they're favored in, a couple of those games, and then you got all these orange games and yellow games, and then you count the 50-50 games, you just get an overall projected record, though, at 2-10 and 10 for Arizona. Now, I know fans won't agree with that, that 2-10 and 10 is not the official projection for this Arizona team. It should be higher than that, but... I really just don't know how talented this Arizona team is going to be. We don't know how good they're going to be. We don't know how good after they are after a 5-7 and seven season last year. Maybe they were just a surprise team. Maybe they were like a, just a surprise team, and this year it will be kind of a downfall year for Arizona. But as of right now, uh, the, the projection comes out to be at 2-10. and 10. It could change, though. I could probably see this team going 4-8, and eight, maybe 3-9 and nine perhaps, maybe 5-7 and seven once again. But as of right now, 2-10 and 10, um, stands right now as the overall projected record for this Arizona team. Uh, let me guys know what you think about this Arizona team down in the comments below. What do you think their worst case scenario will be in 2023? And what do you think their best case scenario will be for 2023? And stay tuned here for more sports content on the Lucas Ross Sports Channel.